Hi, my name is Ben up at Bullion RV in beautiful Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'm going to be giving you a walk around of one of our brand new units. It's a 2022-194BHS by Apex, which is a, com a coachman company. Excuse me. So right now we're at the side of the trailer. Um, this is the off-grid package, the nano off-grid package. Um, my kit outdoor kitchen door is kind of hiding that a little bit but one thing to notice right away just because i moved the door you got two windows for the bunks because this is a 194 bhs so it is a bunkhouse model and i'm gonna sneak around the front here first so we can start up there looking through the pass-through storage one thing this is a smaller trailer but you have significant size for the pass-through storage i mean nice wide door a lot of space we got 12 volt plug in right here for uh, charging or anything that you might want to use out here. USB plug in. That's going to be your solar ch charging controller as well. This is for the lights on the front of the cap. And then you do have magnets to hold these doors up. A lot easier to use that way. A lot more functional as well. Just a beautiful unit. Real sharp looking, that white and black. I mean, it's simple, but it's a very sharp look. You can see the lights on the front. I'll show you more when we get inside, but we do have beautiful front window there. It's very unique. You do not see that in very many units. Coming around over here, other side of our pass-through store, just give you a little bit more of a look. It's nice how they cut it back a little bit right there too. That just allows you to get that much more stuff in there. Uh, we're going to have our, our uh, tank fill right there, fresh water tank fill. This is a Schwintec model slide. You have one slide, which your dinette's gonna be in. I'll show you when we get in there as well, that it is functional with the slide in. So I'll run that slide in there for us today too. That is gonna be the drain spout um, for your low water drain if you wanna drain that fresh water tank as well. Um, excuse me, or that's just your fresh water tank drain on that. Nice big window on the slide there. This is prepped, four slide out toppers right there. Got the brackets already on there. Off the back here, we're gonna have our power supply hookup, uh, cable satellite, outdoor shower, city water connection, black tank flush. One nice thing about this unit, you have most of your hookups pretty much all right here. And this is gonna be your actual low point drain right there. Uh, gray tank valve, black tank valve, all in one. And you do have tank heaters on these tanks as well. Coming around the back end here, you have your spare tire off the back. Nice big awning on this unit. I was not able to get it all the way out as we got a unit next to us here. For a smaller unit, again, you get an outdoor kitchen. That, that's it's rare. You got bottle opener here. You're gonna have 110 plug-ins so if you want to put a coffee maker, you know, maybe a crock pot, a little 110 fridge. One thing I like too, it's a small thing, but you see they bolted, it's kind of hard to tell, but they bolted this fridge on. Not everybody does that. That's a small thing, but that can matter so it's not rocking around all the time. Another thing that's kind of cool, just a little different, is this is a Coleman grill that can be taken off and used anywhere, on a table anywhere. But the way that they extend this, and I'll try to step back a little bit so you can kind of tell, it comes out extra far because sometimes if it's too close to the camper itself it just doesn't really function that well so that's that's a nice feature just gives you a little bit more space a little bit more versatility for where you want to use it for how it works best for you and again magnets to hold up the doors here it's easy to use i mean it's nice when i got a camera in my hand here and i'm able to open and close these doors with one hand that just says you know if i'm camping i got stuff in my hands easier to use and, and that's the key here is everything with this camper it's ease of use but it makes sense outdoor speakers here as well and then you obviously have your led light strip up top there coming over to this side we got our nice solid steps going up into the camper that we got the friction hinge on the door as the wind's blowing today it's not blowing that door around anywhere on that and this unit's going to have asdale construction in it you have a radio hookup CD player, uh, inside outside zone Bluetooth capabilities right there as well. 110 plug in right there with our GFI. <coughs> Excuse me. You can have your control panels right here a little bit, anyways. We got your awning just on off with our lights. 
That's uh, the awning light right there and then our slide control right here. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run this slide in. And the reason I'm doing this is because then you can see what it looks like with the slide in. And a lot of times it's hard to do it with pictures. Video tends to work the best. So I'm gonna get this all the way in and just show you why and how this camper is still functional with the slide in. It's a Schwintec slide, so we wanna hold the button all the way in and let the sound stop. So right now I got the slide in. You can see it's all the way in. And when I look at this, I mean, the dinette, you can easily still sit there. Plenty of room here. I mean, it's not just me saying, oh, I can sneak through. Bottle opener there, right there, by the way. Um, so I can be right here, nice big sink, but I can be right here in the kitchen area, you know, cooking. I mean, I'm walking around with one hand. And just to give you an idea, I mean, tons and tons of space. So that's the thing with this camper is you have the capability where you can have the slide in, you can go somewhere. If you can't have the slide out, you can still use it. It's not that big a deal. I mean, we get, here we got our top and bottom bunks, window for each spot, which is always very nice because then kids don't have to fight over them or anything like that. Around the corner there, there is a light and your 110 hookup back there as well. So they got their own plug in. You can make it into the bathroom if you got a rest stop with the slide closed and it is all functional. Nice little counter space there right next to the sink. Got some hanging storage here. Let's head the bathroom as well. Tub shower combination in this unit. A little bit of storage down below here too. And as I turn again, you can see the slide is in and we can see that everything is functional. I mean, easy to get to the fridge. It's not just that you're squeezing by here. A little storage up top there as well. But you can slide in the dinette and you can see, you know, again, some places you're not able to get the slide out. Maybe it's too tight, whatever the reason be. Nice bed up front. Uh, you got the window up front, window to the side, window here. So natural light in this unit. Very, very nice. There's a lot of capabilities for the natural light as well. TV backer location right here. If you want to put a TV, you got your hookups right up top there as well. I'm going to slide back out and give you a little bit of a view with the slide out as well. It is a fairly deep slide. Right now I only have a battery pack on here so it runs a little bit slower. One thing to notice as well, it's not always very noticeable, especially in the video, but you do have a little bit of a vaulted ceiling here. It gives you a little bit more space that way and just the feel of more open, more bright. Up here up top, definitely deep enough for plates, pots and pans, things like that if you wanted to use those. Our burner top here, you got two burners, microwave down below. Let's take a look under the sink here. So mainly we just have our plumbing fittings under here, but there is a little bit of additional storage that would be able to be used. So all in all, I mean, a pretty simple camper. What's great about this, you got bunks, really the bunks, you know, even though it's not separated, they kind of tuck around the corner. So it feels like they, there is a separation feel. This does make down to a bed. So realistically, you could easily sleep six, depending on the size of the people. Um, oh yeah, by the way, we got 12 volt USB plug-in and 110 plug-ins right there as well. And then a little bit of a kind of a nightstand shelf here. It tucks in there. So just a lot of little knickknacks, very good quality. Apex prides itself on good build quality on these. But again, just the space and the functionality uh, it's been a very popular model for us for this year for those exact reasons. Again, my name is Ben from Bowling RV. If you have any questions, need any help at all, be happy to help you. Please call me, text me at 507-402-2254. Thank you.